So how many of you guys like football? Or watch football? Okay, so now how many of you guys get so excited when the kicker walks on the field to kick the ball? Barking nobody. Except me. Okay, well, here I have a kicking block. Now this kicking block is used in high school football for extra points and field goals. You should place it on the floor and the holder will get the ball and put it on top of it. Now this represents the kicking culture. And the kicking culture has its own differentiation from the football culture because generally they're considered outsiders and not real football players. So I was a kicker for four years for my school, Narbonne High School, and I played all levels, cross off, JV, and varsity. And today I'm gonna talk about what it means to be a kicker and our culture. And first I'm gonna talk about what this block represents and how I identify with culture. So, this block. The first, it's sometimes considered a T, and the first use of a T was in 1922 by Arthur Bowser of the Canton Bulldogs, which is now a point team in the NFL. <laughs> so, before, like no one could really place the ball on the ground, like you had to hold it, and it was easier, he made it out of mud, which kind of really wasn't a T, but he made it out of mud, which people started making other T's out of it, and which, um, if you go today to any athletic department of any store, you'll see the most common orange tea, which is a, a boomer tea, and generally you either have two walls or sometimes two rubber spikes at the back, and the most common, which if you've noticed NFL kickers and college kickers use, is the toe towel, which is sort of similar to this, but there's little ridges on the top that hold the ball in place, so there's no any blockage to your foot to the ball. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about the kicker culture itself. The kicker culture is very diverse. There's many different people, different sizes, colors, even genders. There's female kickers, and there's been a couple of female kickers in college. And to be part of the kicking culture, it's very tough because sometimes you're, people think you have the easy job. All you do is kick a ball at practice all day and you go home. And it's really not the case. I mean, I've done it and that's what my, my teammates think, but when you go to game, your coach expects you to make every kick you do, make, wants you to not mess up at all, and the moment you mess up, even if you had like 10 perfect games and you mess up one kick in one game, your life is kind of over. And that happens to many kickers, you know, it's a very stressful job and people don't really understand that, you know, it's tough. And you know, you have, you have to fight for your job, and especially for any level, you have to fight for your job. You know, in high school, I had to fight for my spot. Like, I almost got my spot taken by a girl. I'm not saying girls are bad. She was actually really good. And there's, like I said, there's been girl kickers in college football. You know, if I had some of my own, you know, generally they get kickers from soccer. So, of course, I play soccer too. They will go to my soccer team and recruit my teammates. You know, and then in college, you know, there's, generally you only see one kicker on the team when you watch TV, but technically there's actually three to four other kickers and also punters that know how to kick. So you mess up, your scholarship's taken away and given to someone else. And NFL, you'll see kickers bounce around to so many different teams because either they messed up one kick and they got cut from the team and some other team picked them up or they're fighting with three other kickers trying to get a spot, either new, fresh out of college kickers or veterans that have been playing the game for so long. So now I'm gonna tell you guys how I identify with kicking culture. You know, I didn't really plan on playing football when I when I entered high school. It was kind of like my mom knew a friend that worked there, and she had me talking to a coach, and he, and all of a sudden she called me over, and I'm like, "What's up?" And she's like, "Here's your new kicker to the coach," and I'm like, "Okay, I guess I'm a football player now." And that was really, really stressful time playing football. Playing football, you know, like I said, yeah. I, how to fight for my spot, you know, how to deal with hate games from my coach. One minute he liked me, next minute he hated me. I'm like, coach, what do 